Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install Windows applications on your Chromebook. Now a quick disclaimer before we get started here, I just wanna say that this process only works about 50% of the time in my experience, but that could be different for you, so I would suggest go and try it out, and if it doesn't work, maybe do some fiddling around and messing around with it and see if you can get it to work. I'm gonna show you the process on how I get Windows applications to work on my Chromebook, and without further ado, let's get started. So first things first, before we get started, we are going to need an application on your Chromebook. So if you have the Google Play Store, this is where the app is located and the app is called Crossover. So if we just jump into Google Play Store here and type in Crossover, and it'll come up and it is made by Code Weavers. That is the one that you want to get. Anyway, after downloading it, I already have it downloaded, you want to launch it. This is what it looks like now, it has this big search bar, search applications. And we do not actually have applications in yet, so we're actually going to stop right here. And this is where you need a Windows computer or you need the Windows download. Or what I like to do is go into my C drive or my Windows computer and go to Program Files or Program Files 86 and find the application that you want. And just simply copy the folder and put it onto a flash drive or some device that you can get it over to your Chromebook. And then you want to copy those files on directly onto your Chromebook. So right here I have a tiny flash drive and I have Unigen Valley. It was just a quick application that I got. It's the installer, not the files itself. So we'll actually go through the installation process of this. So what you want to do is just obviously just plug, plug your USB in and then it should bring it up. Here it is. Open up the files app. And I already have copied it over, so I'm not going to copy it over again just for time's sake. It's about 300 megabytes. And so I just copied this folder and put it into my downloads. Now you can pretty much put this file anywhere that you want on your Chromebook as long as it's located inside the Chromebook, like the storage inside the Chromebook. It cannot be still on the USB flash drive or anything else that you're using. Anyway, after you have copied the files over, what you want to do is go back into Crossover and you want to search for your application. I just like this because it's a simple, easy way to get the title right away. So I'm going to type in Unigen Valley and it does not come up so we are going to click on this little thing that says install unlisted application and that's what we want to do and then so it brings it up with this little page and so you want to select your installer because we have the .exe file already on this chromebook and you want to find it now it's going to bring like the folders application up here and so you want to scroll down until you find it and there it is Unigen Valley and so we're going to click open and then that folder if we check actually the files where it's located you can see in downloads, Unigen Valley, and it's just a .exe file there. And so back in Crossover, all we want to do is click install because it automatically recognizes that this is a .exe file and that we want to use it and it's for Windows application. So we want to click install. Now give it a second and it'll start installing. It'll actually like boot up into Windows VM and it'll like have its own virtual machine but you won't actually see the desktop. But you can see the desktop later, I'll show you. So here we go, this is the wizard, the setup wizard, so if we just click next, I'm just going to install this real quick, accept, and username, organization, this doesn't really matter, I'm just putting it in, and then this is where it's going to stall, it has its own virtual machine, like I said, it's the C drive at Windows files, and it doesn't have that on the Chromebook, only in the crossover application. It's kind of like Wine for Ubuntu if you're familiar with that. It's pretty much the exact same thing. And we're going to do a desktop shortcut. We're going to click next, install, and then the installation process is going. So it just finished there, so I'm just going to click finish here. If it'll Hold on just a second. There we go, it finished its installation process. And so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna actually click done here and I'm going to, it'll bring you back to like the main homepage and you, what you wanna do is you wanna click on it and up in the top right hand corner, there's this little gear icon. If we click that, we can actually run in desktop mode and that's what I like to do. Cause then I can actually see like the desktop itself. It's like a, 
it's pretty much like Windows XP, but like super simple and it's wine. So, so if we click this little drop down arrow right here and you click on file explorer, it'll actually launch the whole entire like desktop experience. And if we stretch it out for the first time, actually, if we maximize it, it'll look like this. Don't worry about it. Just exit out of it. And then these little three buttons up in the top right hand corner, you want to stop all crossover applications and then you can relaunch it and then it will be full screen. And so this is pretty much just like a Windows XP experience. It looks really old, but it's actually Wine, which is sort of like a Windows variant type thing. I don't really know what it is. Anyway, we are here to see if Unigine Valley Benchmark actually works after we installed it. So you always have to have an application open, so you usually can't just close this. I'm just going to minimize this. And so if we double click on it and it opens right up just like a Windows application would. You can do this with several different things. I actually installed Steam on here at one point, but it was a little bit too large, so I actually had to delete it. Really old games also works as well. Simple games that your Chromebook can actually handle running, nothing like too intense, like Fortnite or anything, or Minecraft for that matter. You cannot play desktop Minecraft on here. It would be very, very slow. But anyway, we're going to see if this works. I don't think it does because this is like a benchmarking tool and this is a Chromebook. But anyway, we're going to set it to DirectX 9. Actually, I don't know what this thing has. Let's do OpenGL. We're going to do quality low, everything. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's, it's probably not going to work anyway. And system, we're going to do a custom res. Well, how low can we go? 300 by 300? <laughs> is that, would that actually work? 300 by 300 oh my yeah look at this okay we're gonna click run see if it does anything nope okay well anyway it's not working because unigen valley is way too good for this chromebook anyway but the whole point is is that the windows application is actually running on the chromebook when you exit out of crossover you must always stop applications in the background for instance i was playing a game that had background music and the background music was still playing in the background even though i didn't have the app open Anyway, what you want to do is close all crossover applications after you are done using crossover so it closes out everything and then you can exit it. But anyway, one of the things that they advertise I want to show you here is the Microsoft apps, which is really, really cool because the Chromebook doesn't actually support Microsoft Office and stuff like that and like natively. Anyway, this is a cool tool that you can use for free to install window applications on your Chromebook. And if you have any questions, just please leave them in the comments and I will try to help you in any way that I can. And with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.